Hey guys, Nikolai Tedeschi back here with another video. And my rolly chair broke, so no more fun rolling in intro. Got another new shirt though. I'm excited that I'm finally doing these videos again. Yeah, how long has it been? Six, seven months? Yeah, it's been rough, guys. It's been a rough couple months for me. Um, we have eight new additions to the collection, guys. And um, they're all based on a theme again, like my last video. I can't wait to show you guys these. These are, these are awesome. But first, we're gonna do a little life update thing if you guys wanna know where I've been again for so long and what I've been up to. Um, but if you don't, you don't care really, you just wanna see the new characters I got, then uh, skip to this time, whatever. I'll put it later. Where to begin? Um, so a month after I posted my last Toy Story video, I shaved my head. <laughs> Never doing that again. I don't recommend it. I was going through a rough patch, guys. So there's a pretty big life update for you. <laughs> I went to Europe, which by the way, I saw some Toy Story toys when I was in London, but they were not for sale. They were in like this little vintage store, really cool store actually, but they had like a Twitch, a Thinkway Twitch, the one I have. They had a collection Jesse. They had a little chatter phone one that I have down there. Kind of see it. And they had, I think another Woody and a Buzz or something. I don't remember, but it was really cool. And I just wanted to show that on camera. I saw that new Lightyear movie. How did you guys feel about it? Um, honestly, if I'm being truthful, I did not like it very much. Um, it was okay. It was like a fun watch, you know, but it's no Toy Story movie in my eyes. <laughs> and I found it really boring. The whole time I was thinking, is this really necessary? Is this movie really necessary? I just feel like it wouldn't be the movie that Andy would buy the Buzz Lightyear toy after seeing. Like, oh my god, that movie was so good. I have to buy this Buzz Lightyear. And, I, and honestly, guys, I felt more like a sequel than the actual first part to a, a movie series. I want to see Buzz Lightyear in his prime. That wasn't Buzz Lightyear in his prime. And that whole Zerg twist thing, I, I did not like. And that was ruining the Toy Story canon, so wasn't really a fan of that. But it had some fun moments, but overall, I kind of just forgot about it the next day, which is not very good, Pixar. Come on. So I got some new shelves as well. We got a four and four. They're like 70% off at Target. I had to get them because obviously I'm running out of room here. So, um, what do you guys think? Should I stack them on top of each other and make one big one just like that? Or just do horizontal and have like two and two? Because I'm not sure yet. So I'm getting a house next year and I want a whole wall like this to be dedicated to Toy Story. So I want to paint it blue and I either want to have the, the white clouds from Andy's room in the first movie or the stars from the second and third movie. So what do you guys think? What do you think will look better? So I'm not doing anything with that. Um, they're gonna be staying in the boxes until we get the house. And we also moved our Lego stuff. If you guys care about this, we moved our Lego stuff up on this shelf. And look, I'm trying to expand the Hogwarts Lego castle. If you guys wanna see in-depth look at this, let me know in the comments below. I'm asking you guys all kinds of questions in the comments. <laughs> And that's honestly pretty much it for the life updates. I'm just uh, working a lot, working a lot. That Europe trip really took a lot of money out of me. It was around $3,000, but if I didn't go to the Europe trip, guys, you guys would have had more videos, so I'm sorry. Uh, a lot of money. I'm pretty much down to the nitty gritty with the toys I want, guys. Um, the only things left are customs, pretty much. 90% of the things I need left are customs and they're very expensive. So I'm sorry. I want quality and quantity, but for now it's just going to be one quality video every once in a while instead of a bunch of mediocre videos. I want to make the best for you guys. So thanks for sticking along for this long. I really, really appreciate it. Seriously. So without further ado, I think we're done with the life updates. We are going to look at the eight new additions. Okay, so we're going to start to the most boring additions to the best additions at the very end. So the most boring new addition to my collection, you guys are going to start seeing the theme here. If you can tell by the thumbnail already, I'm sure I'm going to spoil it all in the thumbnail as I usually do. Um, but the first one we got is just the eight ball. You know, the eight ball from the first movie. Um, I don't think the actual saying that Woody got on the first movie is on this actually but if I can you know get one in here no nope, doesn't want to do it but this was like 10 bucks on eBay you know just a regular eight ball nothing Let's see if we can get a saying hold on I've been doing this for a full minute and I cannot see a, a single saying it was doing it when I first got it okay never mind yeah, I see one maybe kinda I don't know anyway I don't think the original saying from the first movie is on here anyway so there's the eight ball for you guys Next for the least boring is... Okay, the next edition we have the Barrel of Monkeys. I finally got the Barrel of Monkeys, guys. Um, if you guys want to pick up some for yourself, get the ones in the yellow barrel. They're the most film accurate, and they have the little red monkeys, so... There's that little guy right there. I think I got this on eBay for like 20 or $30. I don't remember, but it just says Barrel of Monkeys on there. 
Um, and you can close it up. Just like it looks just like a barrel. You know, not much left to say about these. I think they were in all four movies. I don't think they were in the third movie. They were in the fourth, at the beginning opening scene, and they were in, obviously in one and two. Uh, but yeah, there's the barrel of monkeys. Uh, kind of a boring addition, but you know, an addition nevertheless. Okay, next edition, I'm kind of bummed about when I opened it up because I should have probably read the description before I bought it. It's not really film accurate. It's not really the size I wanted of the character, but we have Shark, guys. Look how small he is. Um, Toy Story QC, I believe is his name on Instagram. He made a really good one. He actually oh, this squeaks too, but this is a lot better and a lot more film accurate, but I think he's charging $160 US, plus the shipping, which is probably 40 bucks. I don't know where he's located, but I don't think it's the US. So you're probably looking around like $200 for just a shark. So I got this guy on Etsy for $30-ish, maybe 40. And the user, he is named Woody's Toy Shop um, on Etsy. If you guys don't wanna pay the 160 plus from Toy Story QC, this would be the next best thing. Later down the road, I do wanna update the shark. Um, maybe in the next collection update video. I don't know, he's a very, very minor character. He he has a few lines in the first and second movie. I think just the first, maybe. Uh, hey, I'm Woody, howdy, 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 you know. I think that's the only thing he ever says. I don't know, yeah, just a minor character. I don't really know if I want to upgrade. Maybe later down the road, but this is just fine for now. This is, this is, this is okay. All right, next one we have is Etch-a-Sketch. Finally have an Etch-a-Sketch. This is like one of the cheapest things to buy anywhere. But I got mine on eBay, and unfortunately it is not the film accurate one. Zed, I'm just gonna call him Zed. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his full name there. He actually found a film accurate one on eBay, I believe. So the differences between the film accurate ones and this one is, um, on this one I have, it says Ohio Art, The World of Toys. But in the actual movie, it says Making Creativity Fun. And he has that virgin, really jealous. That's really cool, but it's such a minor, minor detail. I didn't really care. This looks film accurate to me. Um, well, that shark's not a very good example, but yeah. Looks good to me, you know, Etch-a-Sketch. I'm really bad at doing Etch-a-Sketches. Like, I don't even, yeah, look at that. I have no idea how to really do it. I have to really mess with it to learn how to do it. But, you know, just for display purposes, you know, uh, you can shake it to get rid of it. Everyone knows how to work an Etch-a-Sketch. So yeah, pretty decent addition to the collection. <laughs> Next, we have a fun one. We have the CNC. Um, it actually works too. I found a good working one on eBay. He's from the first and second movie. His background, he never says anything, big, obviously. He just moves around in the background. Let's see if it actually points to a sheep or not. Uh, kind of, you almost did. Let's do it one more time. See if it points to the turkey or not, doubt it. Yeah, it's gonna point to the, the pig instead. So I don't, <laughs> little broken, I don't know back in the 80s if that's what it was supposed to do. Just not point to the correct character. Really cool addition, actually. I really like this one. Um, I'm glad it works too. But if you guys wanna pick up a C and say, get the blue one and you need the one with the sheep on top and you need the yellow background here and you need the red background here. This is the most film accurate one. There was also a yellow C and say in Toy Story 3 when Lotso's gang was uh, gambling on it and stuff. I'll probably get that one eventually too, but not until someone makes a film accurate stretch. Cop unfortunately had to stop production on stretch for unknown reasons, but hopefully he brings it back because no one else has made a film accurate stretch yet. Really want one. Um, I don't really want that small one. It does not look good with the other characters, but that's the only choice out there so far. So, I mean, I'm settling with this film accurate shark for a while, so I guess it's okay. Because he posted a photo next to the Trixie one, which I also don't have, in a film accurate scale, and they look so good together. Like, it's huge. The stretch was huge, but we're not here about stretch anymore. Let's keep talking about C and Say. There's actually a green Toy Story version of C and Say, but obviously not film accurate, but it's a fun one if you really like C and Say. All right, for our sixth edition, we have the Little Tykes Fire Truck. Look at this, this is really cool, actually. This was about 40 bucks on Macari, I think. Look, we have this dude up here. We have little one down here, and two driving. And if I remember correctly from the movie, there was only one African-American Tyke, and there's three Caucasian Tykes, but I really don't care about any of that. I'm just glad it, it's full with the Tykes, so I can add another one here eventually. It rolls really nice. You can extend the ladder really high. I feel like everyone as a kid had these. 
time. I certainly did, but you know, lost over time. Whoop! He just jumped out, bounced everywhere. Not much else to say about it. He was in the first and second movie, um, but there's also another version from the second movie with a little red car when they're trying to figure out uh, who took Woody or whatever. I need that. That's a custom. A few customizers make that one, but I'll eventually get that. And then there's the other little tykes, which like there's like a painter, there's like a doctor one. I think Cop is making them. One or two other creators made those on the market too, but they're like 200 bucks, I think, for that whole set. So that's definitely not really a must for me, but I do eventually want to complete Andy's room. All right, these last two, I don't know which one I want to do first. Let's do... Okay, let's do this one. So these are absolutely amazing. I can't believe how great these look, but this and another character, they were made by uh, this eBay user named Brian Ashford. He sells it all the time. Every little, every collection picture I see on Instagram and Twitter and stuff, they always have these versions in their collections. And well, quite frankly, these are the best I've ever seen for this character and that character. All right, so let's take a look. We have the Troikas. Look at that quality. I love the glossy look on these guys. These are amazing. Look at the reflection on the on his back there. Um, so we have the dog. Look, you see his little collar there. And these are made in Russia. B21. I have no idea what that means, actually. Maybe the production of how many they made. Um, but let's open them up. So we got dog here, the main one. We have cat. I think cat looks the best. This is a... Like, I'll put a picture on screen and compare it, but... This is just, oh my god, he did an amazing job. There's like, like he really outdid himself with these. I don't know how he gets this production quality every single time for everybody's, but look, there's little tongue hanging out and the little feet and the back. Look at that pretty the blue is, oh my goodness. So there's cat. Ooh, that sound was not pleasant. We have duck, little mallard duck here. Maybe if it'll focus better. Very, very cool. Very reflective and glossy. Look at his little feathers and yeah <laughs> so there's duck god there's the fish little goldfish god this is just amazing like seriously go check this guy out on ebay and get these for yourself guys um fish last but not least okay that wasn't bad we had the little tiny ladybug So if you guys buy them together, well, I can't tell you who's next, you'll see in a second, but if you buy this and one other character that he makes, he gave me a good deal on the character, so I got to save like 60, 70 bucks when I bought them all together. So it only ended up being like 250, I think, or maybe a little more. So a little expensive, but hey, I spent $600 on a Rocky, so I guess anything's possible at this point, right? Troika's absolutely amazing, but I think I like this one a little more. This guy never said anything in the movies. I honestly don't even think he made this sound he's about to make in the movies. I think if I really, really listen in the first movie, you can hear him when Mr. Potato Head slaps him in the staff meeting scene. Um, but we have Clown, guys. This is... <laughs> like, I can't say enough nice things about this. This is amazing. It's like... Oh, my God. Look at the hair. Look at the detail on his hair. His little party hat. Uh, and you guys probably heard it when I was picking it up here, but he does jingle. Don't really remember hearing it in the movie, but hey, that's just an extra touch that I love. So he's actually wood. He's not like he would be like squishy and stuff, like how he kind of looks in the movie. But look, look at this. I don't know how this guy like got every single perfect detail, fine line, everything, all the stripes. Like this is the same exact spot. This is like on on this on the toy. Like he got every little detail perfect. Just unreal. Seriously, just unreal. This is. He's also made in Russia with some numbers and stuff on there, and wow, look, I already kind of, <laughs> from rolling him around earlier, I guess I kind of put some damage on him, so don't try, don't roll him, don't roll him too much, especially don't really roll him on wood, but I'll roll him here in a second, you guys can see, but look, he's got a big red nose, look, look he's crying, crying happy tears, because now he's in my collection, you know, he's happy to be in my collection, finally. There's just a size reference with me in my hand here, very, very cool. Honestly, probably my second favorite custom in my collection. I think Rocky is still my first, um, but I think he is definitely second. This is unreal. I've said it so many times, but guys, this, it's unbelievable. Seriously. Okay, guys, that was all eight of my additions to the collection. Well, 12, technically, if you count all the uh, Troikas. 
Matryoshka dolls. So here's all of Andy's toys from like the first and second movie that I have so far. And yes, before you roast Nikolai Tedeschi in the comments for missing three major players in this, trust me guys, I'm getting those three characters very, very, very soon, okay? So just wait for a new update video in the next month and a half or so. Because um, they're still on the way from shipping and I bought them online. They're custom made. And without those three that I'm missing, it does look very incomplete, but I cannot wait until I get those to see the full collection and there's a few little additions in there too like the pink bear the the doll and the rubber duck i want to get them eventually too but they're not really you know they have like one scene in the movie i think and so does hockey puck i really want hockey puck too um so i'm gonna think about getting him as well but those three main characters guys you're gonna see very soon so maybe i'll get hockey puck and those uh three shelf characters um in the next update video too so maybe guys just got to be patient but uh, I didn't get any of the major characters down here. They're all set up nice up there. Um, which is actually, I had to move these boxes. Remember, they used to be up here. And I move them back up there again, like they're originally, to put all of like the Toy Story 3 main characters up here. And Zuri, because Zuri can't fit in any of those, unfortunately. So, yeah, they're all just going to stay up there for now. But when I get those three characters in, and more of a. And when I complete Andy's toys. I'm gonna get a big like group picture like this too when they arrive so just for now we're just gonna look at the minor characters so look there's roly-poly clown look that's how he rolls guys it's so amazing um, but like I said earlier don't roll him too much because he'll get a little damaged there on the bottom so just for you know video purposes we'll roll him and uh, we'll do C and say as well now, now it looks more to life. It's pretty cool. Sheep goes and it shows a cow. So we got the tykes, we got the, you know, troikas. You can kind of shake them too, but I love the added jingle. It's, it's so amazing, guys. Oh my god. Honestly, yeah, these are probably two of my favorite customs. These two are probably my favorite. Look at them together. They look amazing. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get uh, those new characters, guys. Oh my goodness. It's going to be amazing. But yeah, there's all of Andy's toys together. Etch-a-Sketch kind of needs some help standing up can't really stand on his own but uh yeah, there's rc back there but yeah guys that's uh that's pretty much it for showing all the new additions i'm uh I'm glad you guys watched this video. Um, thanks for sticking around, guys, seriously. But when those three new additions come in, guys, I will get the video out as soon as possible. I want this to be complete. But like I said earlier in the video, I'm not sure how many Toy Story videos I'm gonna make anymore, guys. Um, update videos, at least. I wanna keep making more Toy Story videos, but updates. For the most part, I'm pretty happy with my collection. The only characters I really need off are all costumes. Um, besides like a few, like the Stretch, and I can't really even think of another one that I need that's not custom. It's, uh, it's down to the nitty gritty, guys. But yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna make those last two um, update videos, especially. Definitely sometime next year because I wanna do an updated 2023 collection video. All the toys in one video. I wanna do that so bad when, when I have like a full, full, pretty good collection. But I still need Stinky Pete. He's like $1,000. I really want uh, Benson and the Dummies. Those are $1,000 each from Cop. Uh, but those look so amazing. They would look so good with a gabby gabby all the way down there but yeah um if you guys couldn't guess the three you know major players in andy's room that i still need don't roast me in the comments you guys already know but like the casual fans who don't know it'll be a surprise for you in the next video who i get but i'm assuming most of you you know know who i'm missing so <laughs> those will be in the next video all right that's pretty much it for the video guys um i'm literally like in awe every single time i see this guy it's unbelievable Look at that, just, oh god, it's perfect, it's perfect. But yeah, if you guys want to see this cool photo that I posted six months ago about my Toy Story collection all together, which I might have to make a new updated one because of all the new toys, but I'll wait on that till my uh, next uh, 2023 update collection video when I have all the characters that I really, really want. But now almost three years into my Toy Story videos, um, you guys already can expect me to not make videos all the time because they're expensive. And, uh, and I really try to aim for quality over quantity. I really want to do quality and quantity videos, but it's just kind of not possible. Like multiple videos that are really, really, really good. It's 
very hard for YouTubers to do that, um, but some can pull it off. But yes, that newest update video, update number eight, will hopefully be done in a month and a half, and it's gonna be more of Andy's toys for that one. Another theme to that video, just finishing off Andy's room. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you stick around for the next update video. Subscribe and like for more, and comment which character you guys wanna see next. All right, have a great one guys, bye.